Hello and welcome to this short video with me, Alex Aprigliano. We're going to be looking at derived sketches. A derived sketch allows you to derive a sketch from another sketch that belongs to the same part or assembly. Now when you derive a sketch from an existing sketch, you're assured that the two sketches will retain the characteristics they share in common and any changes that you make to the original sketch are reflected in the derived sketch. Let's look at that in action. So on this face, I'm going to open up a sketch. I'm going to sketch a polygon. And we'll just add some dimensions and relations to constrain that in place. We'll take that sketch and we'll do an extruded cut and we'll send that through. Okay, now I want my derived sketch to be on this face here and I want it to be an exact copy of uh, this original sketch on this face. Now, where is the uh, derived sketch tool? Well, you'll find it under the insert menu and you'll notice at this stage it's greyed out. Now, this tool will only become active when you have the sketch that you want to copy and the sketch plane that you want to copy it onto selected. So, let's select those. and now you can see that tool is, is available for selection. So if we click on it, you can see it copies the original sketch onto this sketch plane, and we can basically move that anywhere. So we'll just add a few constraints to position it. And that's now become fully defined. Now notice that we haven't had to add any dimensions to this, it's because the size of that polygon is defined by the original. Now if we go ahead and exit the sketch and then take that sketch and extrude cut, we have our end result. Now there is a link between those two sketches such that if you change the original, the derived sketch updates with it automatically. The other nice thing that you get with a derived sketch is if you make changes to the original sketch, any changes that you make will propagate through to the derived sketch. So if we go ahead and edit the original sketch and we take this and turn it into a 12 point cut You'll notice as soon as we exit the sketch, both sketches update for us automatically. That brings us to the end of the demonstration. Thank you for watching.